Okay, so today uh, our main part is to learn about uh, what is list and what is data extensions in SFMC. So uh, firstly, we will look into what is the theory of it and then later we can do the practical. So let us look at what are list first. So as you can see, uh, a list is a compilation of subscriber that receive your communication. For example, uh, have you uh, ever received any email of any newsletter? Hello. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have you received any email that contains newsletter? Yeah, yeah, yes, I should. Yeah, so it uh, asks you about your details, right? If you uh, share your email with them, so uh, then at regular basis, you will get their notification and their uh, newsletters in your email ID. Yeah, yeah. When so we right. subscribe, it will be. Correct, correct, right. So that is what is called a subscriber. So before learning about the list and learning about the data extension, let us first understand what is subscriber. So basically subscriber, uh, you can uh, start your... Yeah, so uh, you both can write this in your notepad also. So that... You can make that password data change for I did a change for no idea for no reason. What's the matter? I can please mute your mic. Actually, there is some uh, background noise. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so we were learning that what is a subscriber. So as uh, told by Sai Soda, it was perfectly correct that uh, a person who has opted to receive communication from our organization is called as a subscriber. So for example, you have uh, shared your name in any of the forms of a website to get their regular uh, notifications on their uh, newsletter. So then you become a subscriber for them, right? So this is uh, what is called a subscriber. Now next, uh, let us learn what are list. So uh, you both can also note down this in your notepad so that you have it in future to reference. Uh, let me know once you have noted this down. Just write down what is a subscriber. Just this first line you can write down. Yeah, I should it's done. Hello. Hello, Aishi.
हेलो यस आई सेड यू वर सेइंग समथिंग या इफ यू कैन बी आल्सो नोट द लिस्ट या यस वन सॉरी यू डिस्कस इट एंड देन यू कैन नोट इट डाउन या राइट ओके uh so a list is a compilation of subscriber that receive your communications so for example we discuss i see your voice is uh, very low for me now okay okay just a second yeah is it better now yeah okay, okay. Uh, so a list is basically a compilation of subscriber that receive your communications so uh, for example uh, as we have discussed that whenever you subscribe for any newsletter so then you become a subscriber of that particular organization so a list of all those subscribers will be uh, a list that we call it etc right so uh, basically all of your subscriber belong to master all subscriber list in your account so we will see that in the platform that how the subscriber list looks like and basically you can create separate list uh, and create and segment your subscribers for example uh, like you have an audience of around 1000 people and 500 people you are uh, keeping them under uh, birthday coupons and 500 of them you are keeping them under anniversary coupons so you have made a segment like there are two segments first is for the birthday one and second one is for the uh, anniversary coupons so you can create two list for them so uh, the birthday people you can keep it keep them in one list and the anniversary people you can keep them in another list so that is how you will segment your subscribers so uh, you can list you can note this down that what are list and all of these three points Okay. So I have you noted it. I see just one second. Okay, sure.
Yeah, I see it's done. Okay. So next we will move to what are the types of list that we have in this agency. So the first one is the master unsubscribe list. Second is the global unsubscribe list. And the third one is the exclusion list. So these are the three types. So uh, the first one is the master uns unsubscribe list. Uh, so basically, uh, there are se separate accounts in your uh, SNC platform. Like in single platform, you can create multiple accounts. And each account consists of a master list. So uh, that list is for, uh, uh, is uh, like it is specifically for that particular account. Uh, for example, Uh, so, for example, we have this whole SFMC platform, and under this, we have different accounts. And each account will contain a single master list. So, this is what is called a master list. So, a master list is uh, particularly for that single account. Like, this master list cannot be used in this account, and this master list cannot be used in this account. So, coming to the definition of it. So, the master unsubscribe list is a li list that is specific to your account and applies to all the lists uh, in your account. So, basically, this uh, master list will, uh, like, let me show in this. Under this uh, single account, you can have multiple lists. Like, we will learn how to create this list. So, uh, you have two or many lists. But all of these lists will be under this master list. Like all of the data present in all of these lists will be present in the master list. So that is what is mentioned over here. That uh, this is specific to your account and applies to all of the list in your account. A subscriber that is marked, marked as unsubscribed in your all subscriber list is on the master list, is on the master unsubscribe list. Uh, so, uh, there is a all subscriber list in the SFMC. So, uh, any subscriber that is marked as unsubscribed. So, that particular subscriber will also get unsubscribed from the master list. So, this is what the master list is, is about. Uh, next is our global unsubscribe list. So, uh, as we discussed that each account has a master list. So, there is one global master list also. So, it will contain all the details or all the uh, subscribers from all the lists present in each of the account. So it will be a global unsubscribe list. So uh, the global unsubscribe list is a list that applies to all of the list in your all of your accounts, which means that as we discussed, this is account one, this is two, and this is three. And all of these contain different list in it. It contain 500, this contain 200, and this contain 300. So all of the list details will be present in the uh, global unsubscribe list. A subscriber that exists on this list has requested not to receive any type of communication from any account. So for example, uh, whenever you receive an email, so then you might have seen that there is one unsubscribe option that shows up in the uh, bottom of your email. So that is uh, like if you opt for it, so then you become uh, unsubscribed from their list. So that is what is mentioned over here. Like if any subscriber is mentioned in this global unsubscribe list, so he will be unsubscribed from all of the list, from all of the accounts. That is what it is about. So Aishi, but how we know that is a global subscriber? In an email, there is only option we have like unsubscribe is only one, right? Here are here is like master and global, right? right How can right. we identify like that is a global or master in email? Okay, okay. So that we need to when we will create the list, then we can understand that like where to keep that subscriber to. Okay. Yeah. So next is the exclusion okay. list. So and I there are. I, I think uh, there are other two, that is publication list and separation list. Uh, yeah, yeah, Koshik. Actually, I don't have that PPT with me. 
So that is why, like over here, like the, those are also the other hits. So, like once I get that PPT, so I will explain that also. Okay, okay, okay. No. Yeah, yeah. So there are other types of list also, like suppression list, etc. So like once you will get that PPT, so then I can explain that. So third one is the exclusion list. So an exclusion list can be any list or group you create in the application that at the time you send, you select to exclude from the send. Uh, for example, uh, in uh, your uh, platform, you're sending an email. And in that email, you have selected a list, uh, like from a list, all of the subscribers that are mentioned in that A list, we are need to uh, like we need to send that email to all the people present in the list A. But uh, there might be some people uh, whom we do not want to send that email to. So those people are present under the exclusion list. And while sending your emails, you can add this exclusion list uh, uh, so that the emails are not sent to those people. So this also will be created later on. So uh, if you want, you can note this down, these three points, types of list. Sarshi, I think uh, the publication list is that list uh, which uh, means uh, what I am intended to uh, send the message. Means those are the persons who will receive the message. That is the publication list. And suppression list. And the suppression list is that list means uh, if uh, they uh, if they are pressing that do not they are, uh, that uh, they are ignoring the mail or they are uh, uh, pressing the button that unsubscribe option if i have uh, 1000 email ids and if uh, i am sending the 1000 email ids uh, any uh, matter to the 1000 email ids so if suppression list do what thing suppression list uh, filters out those that there are some of the people who have unsubscribed the matter out of 1000 email ids uh, let us uh, happen that 100 email ids had uh, unsubscribed that mail that please do not send the mail to me so suppression list is doing what it is filter out that 100 list and it is it will send only 900 uh, only the, the mail to only 900 people that is the suppression list and that we are getting under email studio the suppression list and publication list that we are getting under email studio that's us okay okay question uh sir if you have that ppt you can share that uh, with them so that they can note it down the suppress list and uh, the exclusion list I am preparing a separate one. Uh, once I complete it, I will uh, make it by uh, day after tomorrow. I will share it with you. Okay, okay, okay.
आई शेड्स डन अच्छा हेलो आयुषी ओके अलग से यार यस सर ओके सो यस आई अंडरस्टैंड एक्चुअली यू डू नॉट हैव अ मेन प्रेजेंटेशन विथ यू सो टुडे टुडे नाइट एक्चुअली आई विल बी शेयर विद द मेन पीपीटी सो दैट नेक्स्ट डे ऑनवर्ड्स ओके विल बी स्टार्ट द कस्टमाइजिंग नेक्स्ट वीक एंड मेन पीपीटी विल बी यूज्ड ओके सो यू कैन कैरी ऑन टुडे सेशन एक्चुअली आई एम लिटिल बिट बिजी टुडे अनदर सेल्स फॉर सर्टिफिकेशन इज देयर टुडे नाइट इज एन आई एम गिविंग सम प्रिपरेशन आल्सो ओके सो यू कैन कैरी ऑन दिस टाइम ओके सर ओके सर okay so let's move ahead uh so th this is what uh, like when we can use our list so uh, list are basically simple like uh, later on we are learning uh, that what are list and the data extension so list is a simpler uh, version of the data extension so your list can only contain uh, five lakh subscriber like your list are going to be five lakh subscriber or less so uh, in long term like you can have more than uh, 5 lakh subscribers so in that case you will be using data extension but if you have a uh, 5 lakh uh, or less subscriber then you can use the list next is if you prefer simplicity over performance then also you can use a list and the import speed is not critical in a list which means that later on we will be learning uh, how to import your data from the excel into your list or into your data extension so uh, in this list case the speed is not that critical or crucial next is uh, your subscriber attributes will be limited in number so basically let's understand what is attributes uh, for any subscriber for example uh, we have to send emails to people uh, residing in different cities so the different attributes that they have so imagine this uh, as a list so what all you can include you can include the name next you can include their contact id next you can include their emails uh, and you can include their city also so all of this that we have mentioned the name city number and uh, their email address so these are called the different attributes so in list these attributes are limited like you can only use their name their email or their last name so these attributes are limited in the case of list so whenever you need to do simpler operations so in that case we use the list so you can also note this out that when we can use a list Aisha, can you please provide this link to us? Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. I will share this in chat. You can refer to this later also. Yes. Yeah, sure. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ashu, please uh, share your email ID. There is one thing. So have you shared your email ID? Yes, I have shared it. Okay, okay, thank you.
is it done Is it done fast or done to it? Uh, yeah, you see that. Okay. okay. Uh, so this is how we will be creating the list. So let us first understand the uh, theory first and next in our next training, we will be learning how to create that. So next is our data extensions. So uh, these both are very important uh, topics you can say. And usually the difference between the list and the data extension is mostly asked in uh, all of the interviews. So uh, let us look at what is a data extension. So a data extension is a table within the application database that contains your data. So you can always imagine your data extension as an Excel table. Like in Excel table, you have rows and columns. Similarly, a data extension is a table within your database. Now, again, similar to this, you can use the data extensions to store your subscriber data. Like you can save their name, their city, their mobile number, contact details, etc. So all of this, you can save it. The data you keep in data extension relates to a subscriber, but does not fit in subscriber profile and preference attributes. So uh, all of the data that you will be saving it will be uh, sent under your data extension list and it will be saved over there. Now, similar to list, we also have different types of data extensions. So there are basically three types of data extension. First is a standard data extension. Next is a filtered data extension. And third one is a random data extension. So a standard data extension is a custom list, you can say where you can create custom fields. So what do we mean by custom field? Like, uh, for example, just imagine that you are creating an Excel sheet and over there you can create number of columns and number of n number of rows. So similarly, uh, in a standard data extension, you can create custom field. Like you can include, now for example, you are uh, sending a uh, birthday people. So you can include the different fields, like the name of the customer, uh, their date of birth also you can add. So if we look into list, so our, uh, like the number of attributes of the custom field that you can include is like, uh, we don't have that flexibility over there, but in data extension, you have that hand, in upper hand, that you can add additional custom field. So whenever you create custom fields to store data, so that is done under our standard data extension. Next is our filter data extension. So a filter data extension is generated by filtering fields measures and filters for sendable data extension from a uh, source data extension. So let us understand this. For example, this is one data extension that we have created and it contains around 1000 subscribers. Now from this data extension, you have created one filter data extension, right? So this is, for example, one filter data extension. So how do we create a filter data extension from a data extension? So in middle, like there is a filter. For example, this particular list contains 
the city of uh, the customers and we want only the people for example from kolkata so the filter that you will be adding is only filter out people from this data extension who live in kolkata so all of those people will be creating a new data extension and that data, data extension will be called as the filter data extension so basically whenever you apply any filter to your data extension when it creates a new data extension that contains all that filter data which means that this particular data extension will have all your subscribers that are from kolkata region so this is uh, what is called a filter data extension next is our random data extension so uh, random data extension is usually uh, used for uh, ab testing for example uh, uh, in marketing there is a uh, uh, there is a factor called ab testing where we create two versions of our emails version a and version b and we uh, have to identify that which version will work better for our customers so in that case what we do we uh, run both of or we send both of those emails to random number of people and they will be identify that which particular email performed the best like uh, for example the a version was open by 100 people and the b version was open by only 50 people so by that we are able to decide that the a version performed very well uh, when it was uh, when both of them were compared so in that case uh, the random data extension is used uh, so in this i will show Uh, so, a uh, random data extension will uh, create a percentage of your main data extension. Like you have opted for uh, your random data extension. So, what it will do? It will select random number of subscribers and send it to your random subscriber, uh, random data extension. So, by this, you can perform your A-B testing in future. So this is what is mentioned. Random data extension allows you to randomly select subscribers from your source data extension. This data extension populates random customer data from master data extension. So it will randomly select the number of subscriber and then add it in the random data extension. So uh, in list, as we have discussed, that any uh, number of subscribers that are uh, equal to or less than five lakh. So for them, we create a list. But when we come to data extension, so your list are going to be greater than 5 lakh subscribers, right? So whenever you need to create uh, a database that contains more than 5 lakh subscribers, then you will be using your data extension. Now, you can also send global messages. You are supporting multiple subscriber data set. Your import speed is critical. Which means that uh, whenever we import our Excel or import any data into our data extension, so over there the speed is very important. Now you can uh, use the trigger send also. So these uh, trigger sends will be uh, learning more in our automation studio. And uh, it is more flexible, like as we discussed. So since you can create n number of attributes over here, so that is why it is more flexible. So, uh, whenever you have a lower database and you want simple execution, then you will use list. And whenever you uh, want to have a higher number of subscriber data and you have to uh, create a number of attributes and the uh, process is a bit flexible and a bit complex. So, in that case, you will be using data extensions. And one also big difference is that uh, the AMP script that we'll be learning later. So the, that AMP script can only be used in our list, but the AMP script is used in our data extension. So that we'll be learning later that what it is and uh, where we use it. So you can write this all about the data. First, let us uh, see the, the basic differences, like as we discussed. So uh, this is a data extension and it is a list. So as we discussed, if you have more than 5 lakh subscribers, so then it will be a data extension. If you have less than 5 lakh subscribers, then it is a list. Data extension uses fast, import speed is required. And for a list, fast import speed is not required. 
with data extension, you can trigger, uh, send triggers, like triggered sends are there, and it includes transactional data. Whereas a list is simple, you can send simple emails without the transactional data. Transactional data means uh, whether that person has opted for the product or not, so that is what is called a transactional data. Next is need to store more information and basic subscriber details are enough. So here basic details are added in the list. And when you add, need to add more information about the subscriber, then you use the data extension. So this is very much important. And uh, like mostly people get confused within a list and data extension because both are storing the data. But these are the most important differences. So uh, you can note this out. And uh, let me know if you have any uh, questions for data extension. Ashu, would you elaborate uh, the advantages and uh, some disadvantages of that list? Yeah, sure, Koshik. So, uh, firstly, let us go to the advantages of a list. So, whenever we need to uh, do any simple process, and whenever that list is being used only once, so then in those cases, we can uh, make our list. For example, uh, like it contains a single operation and uh, it requires basic detail like the name, the uh, surname, then the contact details. In that cases, we use list because uh, lists are a bit less complex. So in our uh, much simpler terms, in our simpler tasks, we can use a list. Uh, and the basic disadvantage of list is that uh, firstly, we cannot use the AMP script in our list, which is used in our automation studio and also in our uh, journey builder. So we cannot use the AMP script in our list. Next is uh, that we cannot store more than five lakh subscribers in our list. So that is also- uh, one, uh... Uh, uh, I just want to add just one more simple thing that uh, uh, the main, uh, main uh, difference is that uh, means in a list, the main disadvantage is that if any subscriber uh, is unsubscribed, get unsubscribed from any list. So it gets unsubscribed from all of the list. If there are multiple lists of the same, if any uh, subscriber gets unsubscribed from any of the list, then it gets unsubscribed from all of the list that we are having in our uh, say marketing cloud. And uh, the one advantage is that uh, uh, its uh, list can be configured for the new subscriber only. For the new subscriber who are uh, getting a single opt-in or uh, using double opt-in. In double opt-in, uh, they are receiving an email message that whether they will, uh, want to subscribe their email ID for the purpose. And if they are receiving the uh, subscribe with their email ID, a email uh, confirmation message is uh, received in their email. And when they, are, uh, when they are receiving that email, they are getting the option for receiving the mail. Unless and until they are unsubscribed, they are receiving the mail uh, until they will unsubscribe the message. So in a list, there are uh, both options. Uh, we are using the list for the sub, uh, new subscribers. And uh, for in a list, double opt-ins can be used. And the main uh, advantage of the uh, data extension is that uh, we can um, use the data extension for the publication list also. And data extension uh, holds the information in a huge, huge manner. It can uh, collect all the informations apart from the basic information like name, email ID, contact number, and uh, uh, other things. It can hold all the other information for any other purposes also. That's all. Can you explain that the publication part? Like I didn't get that. The publication part in the data extension. Hello.
process can we explain that uh, communication part in the data extension? Hello, am I audible? Yeah, I was the audible. Okay, okay. Okay, for figures, might be some network issue at this end. So, you were noting that data extension, right? This one. Ayushi, what is a AMP script? Uh, yeah, so AMP script uh, is basically a language that is used in the SSMC uh, platform and that is used to automate. Like we can do programming in that and we can uh, automate our process. So we'll be learning that later. Yeah, okay. Actually, I uh, restore my network. Are you asking something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you explain that uh, publication list part that you have explained for the data extension that I didn't get? A publication list uh, uh, and suppression list are uh, uh, both are used for the data extension. For sending, means when we choose a publication list for sending email messages or to a sendable data extension. And uh, publication list helps us to manage how the subscriber receives any uh, several different categories of emails, means uh, any newsletter or any advertisement or any uh, email messages that you want to publish or want to give. Means uh, like we are receiving some uh, messages like there is an Amazon alert that uh, a sale is going to happen or something like that. So each, each of these uh, different category, we are creating separate publication list for each and uh, different category. So publication helps us to manage any subscriber or unsubscribe or opt-in actions. 
Okay, okay. And uh, you also mentioned something related to data extension. So can you repeat that? Yes. Uh, you told something related to data extension also, data extension and uh, the publication data. So that point, can you repeat? Uh, which point means uh, regarding uh, relating to the data means, uh, yeah. I'm telling that publication list is uh, that list uh, which is sent, uh, is uh, given for the sendable only. Okay, okay. So that we can use in data extension and not in list, right? Means a publication list uh, when we are sending any email messages. We are sendable data extension. We can have a data extension for a large number of data. But when we are sent, uh, means uh, is it testable? When we are uh, doing any, uh, creating any data extension, uh, at that moment, we will learn that uh, how we are uh, creating that. Means it is sendable or is it testable? So if uh, uh, pre uh, publication list is only for the sendable purpose, not for the testable, we can test it also, but uh, mainly the publication list acts on sendable purpose. So we are, uh, the publication list is to for a sendable data extension. Means uh, the email messages that we are sent to our subscribers, those who have subscribed the emails, for those we are uh, giving this publication list. There in publication list, we will see different types of uh, warnings or alerts or different types of messages that they will receive and uh, by clicking on that or by uh, uh, getting on that they are opting that offers or opting any other things so this is the publication list okay okay got it now got it thank you Yeah, it's done. Okay. So 
So we can note this also types of data extension. So right now uh, we have learned the least one thing I just want to add, I will see. Uh, uh, one thing just we have now learned, there are publication list, uh, separation list and uh, exclusion list. So can anyone tell what is the difference between uh, exclusion list and separation list? Uh, so I think whenever a subscriber unsubscribes, so then that person goes to the separation list. And uh, the exclusion list uh, are the contacts that will not receive that particular email. Yes. Okay. Means uh, uh, the filter logic at the send uh, at the time of sending is same for uh, both the list. Means for the exclusion list and for the separation list, the filter logic is same for both. 
but uh, exclusion list are the subscriber who have a status that is they may be active they may be bounced they may be held or unsubscribed there are four options over there in a exclusion list that uh, they are active uh, they may be bounced they may be held or they may be unsubscribed but uh, in case of a suppression list these are the list that they do not want to receive any communication okay this okay. is the key this is the key difference the in a suppression list and an exclusion list suppression list is the list uh, that uh, they do not want to receive any communication that uh, whenever we are making that do not disturb or do not uh, or unsubscribe they do not want to receive any communication from uh, this end so they are getting under the suppression list and exclusion list are the subscribers they may be held or they may be bounced or they may be unsubscribed but uh, they can receive the mail in the next time also they are excluded means we are excluding them the filter process is same for both of them but uh, the exclusion is from our side and the suppression is from their end this is the main and key difference okay okay Ayushi, is the session completed for today? Yes, sir. It is done. Okay. Okay. Thank you for joining. Okay, thank you. Ayushi, it's done. Come on, sir. Okay, sir. So, that's, so uh, we will keep our session till here today. And uh, tomorrow, uh, like I will confirm with sir when we have our next session. And then we will learn the practical how to create a list and a data exception. Okay? Okay, yes. okay. Tomorrow we have tomorrow a session, session. Uh, I will confirm it with sir first, sir, so then uh, we will communicate over WhatsApp. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Thank you for joining. Yeah, thank you, Aisha. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you, Aisha. Yeah, thank you.